Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 697. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about is this an incredible buying opportunity? The buying opportunity of a lifetime, maybe even. And the reason I even bring that up is because those aren't even my words, although that is my sentiment, but I was pleasantly surprised to hear one of the most respected money managers on Wall Street, Bill Miller, say just that, that this is one of the best opportunities in our lifetime to invest and to buy stocks. And basically what he was saying is that he can go back in time to 1974, 1982, 1987, 2008, and 9. Those were the four other times that if you had the opportunity, if you had the cash and the long-term time horizon, if you had the ability to take the leap of faith and buy low at those points of maximum pessimism, you turned out to be making a great investment. And we already know from the low of 2008 and 9 that the market went up 500% from that low. So that's the kind of opportunity I think we're looking at right now. As you know, I've been talking about points of maximum pessimism. And today, Wednesday, we had another big downturn in the market that was mainly due to the free fall in the price of oil again brought about by OPEC countries and Russia trying to drive the price of oil down and drive the oil shale companies out of business. Oil reached an 18-year low today, and that shook the whole stock market. There wasn't a lot of tremendous bad news today, but there was a lot of capitulation. One of my friends who's in the industry contacted me and said it was really terrible, that clients were really panicking and wanting to get out. And that point of capitulation is another point of maximum pessimism. I know we've been making several points of maximum pessimism, but I want to remind you that making a bottom in the stock market is often a process, and it's very difficult to say it's this or it's that. It takes time and we have to work through certain things and we are in uncharted waters. So this is something that's very different from 9-11. This is certainly very different from 2008 and 9. In 2008 and 9, it was a financial crisis that was from the housing bubble bursting. In 9-11, it was an exogenous event that was something we'd not seen before. This is really neither of those. This is its own unique type of a crisis or a panic in the stock market, if you will. We've never seen it come down so far in such a short period of time, other than a one-day period when in 1987, due to program trading, the stock market was driven down 22% in a day. But other than that, we haven't seen the market decline so quickly before, and that can make it even more scary. But on the other hand, I think it's good to get that out of the way, give us a tremendous buying opportunity, and have the opportunity to maybe get to the other side of this and have just as breathtaking a turnaround on the way up. And that is completely what I see in the future, is that when we get to the other side of this, I think we're going to have a tremendous stock market rally that will be breathtaking you're going to want to participate in that. So the worst thing you can do is sell. I hope everyone has held on to their positions. As heartbreaking and hard and stressful as that can be, it usually is the best way to weather through a downturn like this. That is, that is the way that it's going to get you back to where you were. If you want to get beyond where you were, then you have to take bold action. And by bold action, I mean, you're going to have to do some buying. 
you're going to have to make a decision to buy at some point where you can buy low and benefit from this decline in the stock market. We're down about 32% from the high of the S&P 500. That in and of itself is an incredible buying opportunity for quality, large company stocks. So let's talk about what are some signs of a bottom. So we can follow along and see, are we in the bottoming process? Well, first the volatility index, the VIX, has been at record highs, even higher than the bottom of the 2008 financial crisis. This is a good contrarian indicator. The higher the level of fear, the more we are closer to the bottom. And that's what that indicator is telling us. These are not just normal levels of fear. These are all time high levels of fear ever since we've recorded them in the stock market. That tells me we are very close to a bottom here. Number two, capitulation. When investors throw in the towel, give up, can't hold on any longer, and you have massive selling and a lot of volume, that usually is another sign of a bottoming process. And number three, from sheer volume, just the number of shares trading being at a high, and we certainly have seen that in recent days. Nobody likes to see the stock market drop. It doesn't feel good to anyone. It's much more fun when it's making new highs every day and it's going up and up and up. But you know what's funny? When the market was high, people were saying to me, oh, I'd like to buy in, but the market's too high. Well, I'd love to hear from those people and have them tell me now that the market's low, are you buying? Because if you're not, you're missing the opportunity. This is the opportunity. Usually nobody rings a bell, the alarm doesn't go off, there's no one out there that says, okay, coast is clear, you can get in now. Usually we don't even know that until it's hindsight. The market will go down, bottom, bounce, go back down, test the lows again. If those lows hold, then we can go off to new highs. But oftentimes that's very difficult to determine on the exact day of the bottom. You can only know that maybe seven to 10 days later when you look back and say, oh, that was the bottom. But it's not really necessary to catch the absolute bottom. Maybe stocks move down another 5% or even 10% or maybe they don't. Maybe they go up from here and we've seen the lows today. I certainly did go in and do some more buying today. So Monday I did some buying and today I did some buying. And honestly, I'm happy with all of my purchases because I think later this year, it's likely that they will be higher, but I hate to invest on such a short-term basis. So I'll talk about three years out or five years out. I think it's going to look like these were very smart purchases. So here's the thing. You don't have to invest on your own. As you know, I have the VIP experience. And this is something I know many of you have been wanting to join. It's not inexpensive, I realize that. But in this time of zero financing, I am making a special offer that I've never made before. I'm offering zero financing to you. And I've extended the number of payments from six to eight, so it's more affordable than it's ever been. I don't need to lower my price. I have plenty of people who will pay full price and pay it in one payment. But because I know there's people who want to get in and have access to ask questions of me and have the best training possible on what to do, what to buy, how much to buy, I've put this offer together for you. If you're not interested, that's perfectly fine. But if you are, this is the best deal that I have to offer because people are looking for guidance. They want to know how to take advantage of this and what to do. And they know there's a way to benefit. So I'll offer this payment option for a limited time. If it's something you want to do, use code SAVE50, capital S-A-V-E, capital letters, and then 50 SAVE50 at checkout, and it will reduce the price in the shopping cart by 50% and give you an option of paying in eight interest-free payments. And you've got 30 days to decide if it's something you love. If it's not, you will get a full refund. I've been doing some extra broadcasts this week. I did an extra one on Saturday, an extra one on Tuesday. So if you haven't caught my extra podcasts, I hope that you listen to them. Because of doing those podcasts, I haven't been able to announce our winners of the review contest yet. I'll do that on Friday. So my apologies for extending that. 
But for those of you who want to win, you can leave a review and get your name in the drawing. Or if you've read The Wealth Heiress, you can leave a review on Amazon and get your name in the drawing two times and possibly win my Wealthy Mindset Blueprint audio sets, a Wealth Heiress book, or a one-on-one appointment with me. So I will name the winners on Friday's podcast. We will get through this. We will get to the other side and this too shall pass. So if you're feeling anxious, if you're feeling worried, if you're scared, your retirement plan will never get back to where it was. I wanna give you some confidence that yes, I think we will get to new highs. I think we will see the stock market go up again. And I think when we get through this, we will see a huge bounce. The White House task force is on day 12 of their 15 day countdown. In my opinion, the best case scenario would be we could possibly be through this at the end of that 12 day period. It's possible. It's one of the possible outcomes. If that's the case, this could be behind us in as soon as 12 days. And right now the Senate is meeting and looking at three massive relief packages for the airlines, for small business, for other industries, and possibly even sending checks to the American citizens. When that news comes out, I think that could be a catalyst to turn the market around. We'll see, but I think better days are ahead. We just have to get through this and get to the other side. Once we get to the other side, whether that's 12 days or another 15 days after that, or a month after that, we will get through it and the market will recover, and the economy will recover, and we'll be stronger than we've ever been. I have no doubt about that. We've learned a lot of lessons about our economy and about bringing things back to America. Production like our own medicines, our own medical equipment, and things like that. So this will get better. Hang in there. We're gonna get through this together, and I'm here for you as your person who can look on the bright side, give you a balanced view and not give you all of the negativity that is out there. This is not the Great Depression. It's simply a temporary situation that we're working through and we will get through. And if you'd like to get more daily updates from me, check out my social media posts on Instagram at Linda P. Jones, at Facebook at Linda P. Jones fan page and on Twitter at Linda P. Jones. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.